Hello friends. Today's topic is something that you must have come across or must have heard and you must be wondering okay, what is this all about when we talk about Akashic record. Now to explain this Akashic record I would want to give you an give you an example I would even want to state something that I always ponder on I used to always think from my early age like you know when I was in my college days like a celebrity Amita Bachchan or could be Sachin Tendulkar or maybe Kishore Kumar, Mohammad Rafi all these people who have put in so much of hard work in learning a skill, a talent and one day as we all know we are going to depart from this planet, we are going to die. So. Is it that once we close our eye, eye and we once we take the last breath, everything is vanished, all is gone? And I, I, I used to always wonder and I was trying to research this and I was trying to find out the meaning why this thing is bothering me. And then finally, in my research or in my uh, in the process I found the meaning many a times in my video I've used something called Kryon K-R-Y-O-N and many of my uh, queries many of my uh, questions were answered by this book and when I was going through, through one of the chapters in the book I got all my answers and the answer was lying there in that particular chapter called the Akashic Record. Now what it means? See when we die, they say, no, no one has seen it, Okay, they say that the soul that we talk about is almost a size of a thumb. See this is something which I cannot... Uh, authenticate it says it is broken into two pieces or there is a two part of it and as you know when you send a shuttle or a rocket on top after after it covers a distance of say how many ever kilometers I don't know I'm not a scientist so there's something which drops down that called payloads <clears throat> Similarly, when you depart from this planet, a part of you called the soul goes on top after a period of time that, that I have already explained to you. And a part of you is gone down in the crystalline grid. That is the womb, that is the center of the earth. We also call it as a magnetic grid. That is what we call as a supercomputer of the universe where all your thoughts, your emotions, your talent, your skills, every word that you have spoken, every event in your life, all is recorded over there and that particular thing is called your Akashic record. And this has been, this has been said in almost all the uh, Text and religion, may it be uh, the, the, uh, the Buddhism or whatever they say that this is an Akashic record. Please Google search and find out. And what happens when you, when you come back to the earth, when you are reincarnated, when you take birth, according to your blueprint, I spoke about the blueprint also, according to your blueprint, you pull whatever is required for this particular incarnation 
that you have chosen for yourself. Many a times in the news channel or some other resources, we come to know that there is a child which is born, which is not even four years or five years, and he can uh, he can play a guitar. A seven-year-old child who who can who remembers the entire Bhagavad Gita or the Ramayana, or he is reading the slokas in Sanskrit, and we always wonder, okay, how is that possible? How did it happen? Now, not everyone is blessed with this particular uh, skill or talent to pull uh, the Akashic record. Some people come with uh, the libraries as uh, the Akashic record from there they pull and they remember their past birth also. They say, in all the cases we have seen, if it is before the age of seven or nine years of, of age. So if you want to, if you want to know your record, if you want to know your Akashic record, we all have got access to it. The good news is we all have got access to it. But then there is a way of accessing that particular record. And there are some fundamental principles and some common methods. How can you access this record if you want to? See, please remember that we are, we are living in the age of Kaliuga. We are so much surrounded by technology and there are so many of the people if you if I talk to see I actually get very scared to talk to people also because they, then they start thinking that we are from a different world or we are talking about nonsense and how can you talk about all this thing this thing doesn't happen actually if you go to see these are these are the barriers okay which doesn't allow you to know something of the world that this there is a world beyond this world and we can access only if you if you are open for it nothing will come to you until unless you give permission see if you don't give permission when i say permission that means having a faith in something even a doctor and his medicine also will not work on you if you have a doubting nature that maybe his medicines are not good are he is taking only 100 rupees? I think his medicine is not good. So that faith, that trust, if that is not that, that means you are not permitting, you are creating your own boundaries and you are not allowing things to come inside. So if you want to access that record, the Akashic record, first of all, you have to decide what you want to know. That is very important. What you want to know. Are you just browsing? Here and there is something there? No. Then that is not how you can call your Akashic record. So you have to define it and be very specific about something that you want to know. It could be your health. It could be anything. It could be your fear. I want to, like I want to confirm the existing of the Akashic record. First of all, I want to know, okay, is there an Akashic record? Yes or no? This should be the first question. I want to experience it. I want to experience the realm of the Akashic record. That should be your first question. Right? Now, then you have to ask yourself, do I actually have, after the question that there exists an ex, uh, Akashic record, the next question is, do I have a specific question? And you have to spend some time in clarifying your intention, pertaining to that question, or perhaps by writing your thoughts with the understanding that there is no wrong question. First of all, you can ask any question. There's nothing as right or wrong over here.
You can ask what you like. You can ask anything what you like. But you may not get the answer always. You have to understand. It's not that if you ask and you get, get the answer, the first attempt you will get the answer. It is not going to happen. And when you are ready for this, when you are ready for it, clearly state your intention and request that any guide or any guides whether you know them or you do not know them you will accept him to assist you any guide use whatever meditation practice you know or you do or just relax your mind and remove all the thoughts so it's a very clear board in front of you give yourself some time to settle down the energy to settle down and try to center yourself ask the guides you will just verbalize ask the guide that you want to have access to the records in regards to that particular question and you have to put that question across now you have to stay in the open preferably if you can be on your terrace or a portico or you can be in the garden or somewhere in nature that would be better be receptive or in a receptive state allowing information to enter enter where enter into your awareness that's important it could be uh, visual it could be auditory it can come in the form of a guide or an angel those who believe in guide and angel that's a big question now if you connect to any other being ask their name but it's possible that something somebody else appear and you have to ask the name that's called mediumship who is your medium and clarify that you are looking for the access to the records in regards to your question <clears throat> now when you are ready all these things have been done end your se session just put an end to it and take time open a diary record your experience whatever you have experienced in that 5 minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever you have experienced anything just record it now any thought struck you anything came in your mind write it down if it is not it's okay nothing came to your mind it's okay the first attempt don't think it's a it's a failure no it's just a first step you're trying to just like you know get accustomed or aligned with the thing because for many it's going to happen it takes more than one attempt for sure to get tuned into even if you believe the thing happened which could be the case write down any impression or any thought that struck you during that particular session It's possible that some insight you will get it and may reveal more than expected. <clears throat> so you give a gap of say again a day or two and again to this do the do for the third time, the fourth time, the fifth time. Believe me, it is something like cycling, it's something like learning a car, it's something like any other skill that you do where the first attempts definitely you will find very difficult to balance yourself but when you when you when you start riding a, a, a bike or a bicycle what happens do you sit on the seat and you just uh, move away no you have to learn how to this is what is all about meditation also you need some time to get aligned and there is enough help you don't need anyone, you don't need any guide, you don't need anything. It is just your inner you.
which has to give permission. Okay, I allow myself, I permit myself to be on the other side, to be on, on the other side of the realm. It's just the permission. What stops you from accessing all these things is your own subconscious mind, which is filled with information, which tells you that it is not possible. Why? Because my teacher told me, because the scientist says that, because this is how it is. So you will never have an access to all this. And if you want to have an access, try this out. It will send so this was all uh, about Akashic record. I am going to now take some time to upload this video because again, subtitles. Subtitle is uh, anyway. Uh, stay blessed and uh, do share my videos, like my videos. I want to see my subscription uh, going. You know, I need that graph to go on top. Thank you so much.